It is the 21st of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start with uh, Scott.net tonight. A lengthy blistering heat wave is blanketing the eastern half of the United States and putting significant stress on nation's power grid as homeowners and businesses crank up their air conditioners. Uh, here in Des Moines, I can contest my, my house. Uh, was experienced a brownout for about an hour, an hour and a half today. Uh, we couldn't get the refrigerator or the air conditioner to work. Uh, I've got the energy saver light bulb, so they worked on dim, and uh, I can barely get a fan to blow on low. So experiencing a brownout firsthand, I'm going to tell you, um, you really do take electricity for granted. Utilities say they're ready for high power demand and widespread electricity shortages or outages are unlikely. Lines and equipment are not fully taxed and there is more generating and transmission capacity available than usual than because of the weak economy. Also, a, a, not many major storms are forecast, meaning fewer down power lines. And of course, the, the heat wave began a week ago. <laughs> Feels like way longer than that. Uh, and they're predicting 90 to 100 degree weather from Chicago to Boston from Wednesday through the weekend. The Midwest is expected to see peak heat on Thursday, while thermometers in eastern states will top out on Friday and Saturday. Uh, they're saying Philadelphia may break a 1957 record of 100 degrees on Friday, while Washington, D.C. is expected to reach 103, tying a record from 1926. Here's a very scary story, actually. United Nations Secretary Council to consider climate change peacekeeping. Climate change peacekeeping. Special meeting to discuss green helmets forced to intervene in conflicts caused by rising sea levels and shrinking resources. A special meeting of the United Nations Security Council is due to consider whether to expand its mission to keep the peace in an, area, in an era of climate change. <clears throat> Small island states which could disappear beneath the rising seas are pushing the Security Council to intervene to combat the threat of, to their existence. This is just an excuse. Uh, there has been talk, meanwhile, of a new environmental peacekeeping force, green helmets, which could step into conflicts caused by shrinking resources. Um, the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon is expected to address the meeting on Wednesday. This should get interesting, something we should definitely pay attention to. Our earthquake shakes Greek island. An earthquake of preliminary magnitude 5 is struck off the Greek island of Zagnos, but no injuries or damage have been reported, authorities said, said today. <clears throat> Solomon Islands earthquake magnitude 6.0. Oil pipeline breaks on Black Reservation, significant volume of floods, cut Bank River, Montana. And I reported on this a few days ago. Uh, this is um, like 300 miles away from the, the Yellow River, <clears throat> where they've had another huge oil spill. Uh, U.S. prolonged heat wave heads east, blamed for 22 deaths. Uh, at least 22 deaths have been blamed for thus far for the heat wave that Four weeks have been taking its toll on central United States and on Wednesday is expecting eastward according to the National Weather Service. Uh, hospitals in Wichita, Kansas treated 25 heat related illness according to the Weather Service report in Des Moines, Iowa. 16 people were hospitalized because of the heat. And they were saying in Newton yesterday that heat, ind heat index of 130. Just insane and, and deaths um, according to this heat bubble that uh, we are stuck in at the time. Casualties confirmed after Kragerstan, Uzbekistan quake. At least 13 people have been confirmed killed and more than 70 other injured after strong earthquakes struck the southwestern and eastern uh, border area on early Wednesday morning, officials said. It was a 6.2 magnitude earthquake. Three people swept over Yosemite waterfall are presumed dead. Um, officials in uh, Yosemite National Park have identified three visitors who are presumed dead after being swept over a raging waterfall. And uh, they identified the, the visitors. Witnesses saw the group that was swept over the 
Vernal fall after they crossed a barricade to pose for photographs. Now I watched this video myself and uh, I could have swore I saw four people. I will find it and attach that video below of course. And over to the extinction protocol. Sinkhole in Guatemala opens up floor of bedroom. Uh, July 24th, Guatemala. Here's something you never want to hear. That loud booming sound is coming from inside the house. That's what one um, lady from Guatemala City learned after a sudden noise caused her to run outside thinking there has been, there's been an explosion nearby. When she realized the problem was inside her home, she returned to find a gaping 3 foot wide, 40 foot deep sinkhole beneath her bed. Uh, Hernandez, uh, 65, was relieved that the damage was only to her house and hadn't harmed her grandchildren, who had been playing near the bed. This was a little too close to home, no kidding, but uh, she couldn't have been too surprised that the sinkhole had visited her city. And, uh, of course, Guatemala City is prone to these giant uh, sinkholes that go straight down into the ground for some strange reason. It's not like a normal Florida sinkhole where you see like that. It's just like literally a tube falling through the floor. Um, we've got a 5.4 magnitude earthquake rattles quad plate region near Panama. And uh, that's the ring of fire active, of course. We've got a crazy uh, fear piece about uh, history's lost lesson, ancient nuclear war among Indus Valley civilization re-examined. Now this is in India uh, where they're saying they're having a nuclear fallout from tw up to 12,000 years ago. Uh, they built a complex and uh, you know uh, birth defects and cancer rates went through the roof and they've uh, quarantined this area. So they're re-looking at the whole um, situation. And where was the other story at? New cauldrons from uh, my Druskal Glacier over Katla Volcano. Um, this is back on the 20th. According to news here in Iceland, there have been a formation of at least three new caldoras, uh, cauldrons, uh, in the glacier where they have not been before in the glacier. But this means that the hydrothermal areas under the glacier are growing in size due to new magna pushing up into the crust and warming it up. This has been revealed after a daily checking of the status on the glacier. And uh, I've seen films of this, of course, uh, where the helicopter pilots are flying over. And they do have a, a video attached of one of these over the flights with some pretty dramatic footage. Receding Himalayan glaciers set off glacial lake alarm. Receding Himalayan glaciers are resulting in the formation of glacial lakes, which climatologists warn are growing at an alarming pace. The Himalayans have 55,000 glaciers, but the creation of these lakes could destroy the settlements located close to them. And uh, just what happens when these glaciers uh, melt, they produce these great big lakes and sometimes the, the wall gives way and, and flooding and all of that catastrophic stuff going on. Magna plume activity at Mount Edna uh, erupts with fountains of lava. And uh, this is in Italy. And uh, they've got some pretty good video of that. Uh, I think it's a time-lapse video actually of the lava spitting out and flowing down Mad Mount Edna. And I believe that is in Sicily. Scientists admit they have no idea what's heating the earth. Radioactive decay of uranium, thornium, and potassium potassium in earth's crust and mantle is a principal source. In the 2005 scientists in the Kimland collaboration based in Japan first showed that there was a way to measure the contribution directly. Now, the trick was to catch what Kamoka liquid Sinkteller da 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 or precisely uh, geo and trinos emitted when radioactive isotopes decay. And that's kind of, get a Charlie flashback from the movie 22 off those darn neutrinos. Anyway, <clears throat> over to uh, RSOE. Of course, we have the volcanic activity in uh, Vanuatu, Indonesia, the Mount Lokan volcano uh, activity going on. Um, the Cleveland volcano in Alaska, uh, satellite reports that they have a plume 
uh, 20,000 feet in the air, so we've got another volcano in Alaska uh, erupting, but they don't have any seismometer. They don't have any equipment around the volcano so they can actually check it on time and ongoing. Uh, so they got to wait for satellite images for that kind of thing. Um, forest fire in uh, Thunder Bay region in Canada, Ontario. Uh, landslide in Guatemala, of course. Da, da, da. Forest fire in uh, Sequoia National Forest, California. Uh, state of Wyoming, uh, about 10 miles south of Newcastle. They've got a forest fire reported. Of course, the heat wave in the central United States. Uh, forest fire in Spain, in the Molina region, and the ongoing nuclear event, which is Japan. Uh, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, attach your comments or your videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.